Good afternoon, team. Hello, who is out there in Facebook land today? You know, I look at the background in my picture here. All of this stuff right there. And I cannot wait to set up a new place somewhere that will look a lot different than this office does. So, but in the meantime, you are stuck with this look. So um, today is uh, January 23rd, 2019. We just finished up campaign three of 2019 and we are off to campaign four. Hello, Rita, how are you? Um, so we're, anyway, we're starting campaign four and um, I just wanted to go over highlights of the products in campaign four and um, team highlights and how you are going to be able to move your business forward with the, uh, the new changes, changes or just different emphasis that Avon is putting on the business this year. So anyway, my name is Margie Donaldson. I do not have my name tag on today because the only thing that I did is I went to look at a rental house. Outside of that, I've been doing just office work today. Um, contacting team members, contacting customers, um, and getting my uh, a good email written to send out to leads to tell them all about the benefits of why join Avon in 2019. So if you would like to see that email, um, let me know. If you are interested in building a team, I think it's pretty good. I forwarded it on to Cindy DeNova for her um, proofreading and editing skills and she only had one thing for me to add to it so other than that she says that she loves it so I would be more than anxious to share that with you um so anyway we are in campaign four campaign three wrapped up campaign four closes on Tuesday February 5th do not wait until then to order, especially if your customers have any orders for Valentine's Day in those in that order, because things will sell out just like they did at the holidays. They will sell out for Valentine's Day as well. And the uh, the Valentine's jewelry that we have, the Everett, the elephant that sings Treasure by Bruno Mars, um, you know, different things like that, they will definitely sell out. So place your orders very 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 soon do not wait until the last day um it seems like most of the team is waiting until the last day and that's not necessary whatsoever the sooner you get the order in the sooner you'll be delivering it to your customers and the sooner you will get paid so um certainly you know tell them about the online store and that that goes until the online store actually closes like the day before um, but tell them that they have until February 4th to place their orders and the Valentine's Day items, whatever is still left, they can order through the 4th and they'll have them in time for Valentine's Day. So um, that's enough about um, campaign for logistics speaking. I wanted to show you the top that I have on, which is a brand new top with Avon. I don't know if you've seen it in the What's New yet. It, um, I I think it is just so beautiful. It's a wash and wear yellow top. It's got a little bit of gathering at the bottom, a little bit of elastic, and the sleeves are completely lacy. So that's why I have the sweater on is because I can absolutely see wearing this top come summertime. These sleeves are so lacy, so open, so breezy, um, and so comfortable too. You know, sometimes lace is kind of itchy. This is super comfortable. And I just don't remember the name of the shirt, uh, of the top. Oh, I'm just getting chilly because I don't have my sweater on anymore. Let me see if I can find it. I don't know if it's in campaign four or in five. Um, I'm not sure. Campaign four is this one, Bye Bye Cellulite. We have the three new naked, uh, naked proof um, products in, and they're just, they're, uh, 
things that you can open up conversations with your customers about. Here it is. It is in campaign four, right there. Now I didn't dress it up with a um, with a necklace, um, because like I said, I only went to the one thing today, and I wasn't really out um, out and about beyond that because I had so much office work to do. But anyway, this is called the Celia Top. It's twenty nine ninety nine. It's pullover with lacy long sleeves, cotton, nylon, spandex. The nylon would be probably in the um, in the lace itself. Machine wash and dry, Woo! because mama don't do any kind of ironing. Mama don't do any kind of dry cleaning. So it's, it's awesome for that. It's just completely wash and wear, so comfortable. Anyway, um, Center back length, 24 inches on medium, 25 and a quarter on the 1X. So that is the Celia top, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. Hi, Maggie. How are you? All right. So, um, so campaign four. Oh, yeah. We have the, the naked, uh, naked, what are they called? Naked proof products. The Smooth Moves Cellulite Gel, which I've started using, and I'm, I'm going to um, kind of see how that works. We've had a cellulite cream way long ago with Avon. I've been doing this for almost 19 years, so it's like, oh, yeah, I remember we used to have that. But obviously, they must have um, improved it a lot because 98% of those that tested it saw improvement in just four weeks, dramatically reducing the look of even the most persistent cellulite. So sign me up. Then there's also a Firm Yourself, which is the firming body cream for these um, these areas that just, you know, they keep wiggling and jiggling kind of thing. 96% uh -huh. showed improvement in the firmness and tone of their abdomen and hip area by using that one. And then the stretch marks. now. I've never birthed the baby, so I don't have stretch marks. I can't speak to that. But for anybody of you that that have had or do have stretch marks, I would love to hear your testimonials about that. So then I can share them with my own customers. Um, they didn't put any percentages in the um, in the brochure on this one, but they do say it instantly. It instantly stretch marks are visibly diffused in two weeks or dramatically reduced the appearance of them. So anyway, that's the front and front and center cover items this time. So get the samples, share them with your customers, um, get their testimonials about them. So then you can share them with your own customers as well. And then, of course, we have all of the beautiful Valentine's Day things in here and the blushing petals and the smitten with roses. By the way, if I haven't already said, the smitten with roses hand cream marries perfectly with velvet hand cream. So keep that in mind with any of your velvet customers. Tell them about that. Bath bombs. Here's Everett. I think his name is. Yeah, Everett. Here's Everett. My daughter collects elephants um even though she's 19 years old she still loves her stuffed animals and she likes bruno mars although mama might need to keep him for a while but anyway <laughs> i'm thinking about sending that up in a care package to her i think she would just love having everett um so the valentine's day things the, the socks which say, which say love is all you need and coffee, which I don't really agree with. So I guess I don't get to wear that sock, but I would wear this one. And then we've got the slippers, love ya. Um, I have a customer that ordered them and I'm delivering those to her on Friday. So I want to get her opinion on how she, how she likes them. Um, they have the memory foam, memory foam? Yeah, memory foam footbed, so I can squeeze it through the through the plastic package, and it's so soft, so soft. Um, love this look, especially if you have uh, daughters or granddaughters, and you can all be in the kitchen together making these. Um, and if you um, 
Oh, if you want to have like a Valentine's Day exchange, um, it makes perfect teacher's gifts, the little sugar cookies. And then I was trying to get to the beautiful jewelry. Here it is. I wore this beautiful jewelry to the symphony about a week and a half ago, and it was just beautiful with my black lacy dress. So um, I would find my phone if I could. There it is. Okay. Um, all right. So further on in, we've got lots of Valentine's jewelry. So talk to your, hi, Cecilia. Talk to your customers, talk to them about, um, talk to the men and, you know, Valentine's gifts. It's coming up before we know it because it really comes up fast after Christmas, believe it or not. Then, of course, don't forget to add on your A box with that. Okay, that's campaign four. Um, I sat in on a webinar that Emily Segrin did the other day. And if you don't know who she is, she is a bronze executive leader with Avon. She's been selling Avon for about 10 years or so, I think. Um, she lives back in Illinois. And her sales, her total sales have skyrocketed with the, um, with really grasping a hold of online ordering and social media. Her, so not only her sales, but her recruiting efforts have just skyrocketed. And she, on the webinar, she showed the, um, the chart year after year after year. Hi, Josie, hello, how are you? Um, she showed the chart of how her sales have exponentially grown because of her involvement with the online sales and, um, and uh, social media. So I just want to, I'm just going to like regurgitate the notes that I took the other day and um, see how these will fit in with what you're doing currently. And let's really put an emphasis in 2019 on those online sales. Okay. So um, number one, what she recommends is put a sticker on the front of your brochure of all your brochures that says, um, that includes the welcome 10 code, because anybody who is a brand new customer to the online store, they don't have to be one of your on, uh, new customers, but they have to be new to the online ordering, okay? Um, oh, you're very welcome, Josie. So um, anybody who has who is placing their very first online order, they are able to put in a one-time use only code that says welcome 10. They'll get 10% off and they'll get free shipping when their order is over $40. So what she, the sticker that Emily showed was she had her name and her phone number on the first line and then free shipping with $40 uh, on the second line, 10% off any sized order online which I don't really agree. Well, I, yeah, I guess you can use the welcome 10 with any size order, but I'm pretty sure it has to be a $40 order. So 10% off any order, any $40 plus order online, use code welcome 10 at, and make sure that on the front of your book, you have your website name. So yeah, I'm gonna be making up a lot of stickers. Um, sorry, those ding dings are my, um, my text messages coming in. I'm going to be making up lots of stickers and just putting those on the front of all of my books. So what you'll want to do is pass those books out, not only to your current customers, but any time that you're in front of anybody else. Um, lifestyle recruiting, lifestyle selling. So as you are going through the bank drive through going to the bank, going to the dry cleaners, going to pick up your kids from daycare, going to a doctor's office, going to a drive through restaurant, um, even at a restaurant. If you are taking a plane ride and you can put a book in, your, in the seat back pocket in front of you, um, if you're traveling and you're in a hotel, leave a book there for the, uh, for the maids or at the front, uh, the front desk. Any place, anywhere, 
remember the four A's. Anytime, anywhere, always ask. Always ask people if they would like to see a brochure. Um, when is the last time that they saw a brochure? When is the last time they ordered? Ask, ask, ask. Start those conversations, okay? So that was first thing she said. Then she was, um, she was talking about the contacts with your present customers. She recommends constant contact as an email server. So far, I'm just using my Yahoo. Um, she also blogs. So if you are into blogging or if you wanna start learning how to blog, there's plenty of resources online to get you started with that. Um, she recommends sending the brochure link through email as a signature, your email signature, which I've already done that, but what I have to uh, now include is the, the welcome tip. That part I've, I've been remiss in putting that onto my email signature, so I'm definitely doing that. Anytime that you do get an online order, don't forget to send a thank you to them, whether it be a thank you postcard, a thank you letter in the mail, a thank you email, a thank you text, something acknowledge their order because then they'll be like oh yeah she she got the order or he she or got the order and um and they're thanking me so it's it's just a nice gesture um she also said there that if uh if you haven't already there is a follow-up tool and i believe the follow-up tool is found in the web office Yes, yeah, so we, we have new tabs. If you haven't already seen it on Avon 2.0, we have new tabs. And if you click, if you uh, hover over my office and drag it down, then it says follow-ups. And what that'll do is it'll show you, um, let's see, today's follow-ups. Follow -ups? No, no, that's not where I wanna be. Um, I do think it is in the web office and yes, web office over to the right hand side there's a section that says your fortune is in the follow-up contact customers who haven't placed an order you can click on that and it'll show all the customers who haven't placed orders in in recent days campaigns kind of thing um so keeping in touch with your customers through facebook keeping in touch with your team or your customers through zoom live videos for sure on social media like I could do a whole live video probably on this shirt and the Valentine's Day jewelry that I have. Um, I've seen live videos holding Everett and, um, you know, trying to sell the Everett stuffed animals. So um, there's plenty of different reasons why to go live. Um, you could do an un unboxing video when your new order comes. My newest meeting in a box came, which I'm visiting next week. So tune in next week and I'll show you all the new things that cover like the springtime, Easter, all sorts of good things are in that box. Um, on Instagram, if you are not already on Instagram, you might wanna start going over there. Lifestyle posts with unboring products, she says. Um, stories, maybe stories about Maybe I could do a story about my yellow shirt and how happy it makes me feel kind of thing. Um, and then stickers, I guess there's little stickers that you can put on your Instagram to kind of jazz up your pictures and get involvement. And then you can always put in, and which I've seen a million times, hashtag link in bio. And then that means, oh yeah, I need to go look at her bio, look at her link. And then um, they'll be able to uh, get your email or your, your online store address from there. Sorry, I just noticed I have comments here. Can you send picture of that, the group page of what? I don't know. You have cheaper to get brochures. You have a cheaper way to get brochures. I'm not sure what you mean. As far as brochures are concerned, the more brochures you buy, the cheaper they get. If you buy a pack of 10, they're $6.49. If you buy a pack of 50, they're $16.60. So you get 40 more brochures for seven more dollars. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, you can get 100 brochures for two, $25.80. 
which is even a better deal than buying the 50. Um, buying Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, the 10% sticker. Can you post that in the group? Oh, okay. Yeah, I will. Um, I will write out one and I will I will post that in the group for sure. And what's blogging? Blogging is basically like, oh, uh, it's almost like posting a diary online, a diary of your thoughts, a diary of um, your lifestyle kind of thing. And then you would mention in there how Avon is fitting into your life, into your lifestyle. Um, you can also put things in there about recruiting um why you think people should join your team hi alanis how are you um so if you if you google blogging just google the word blogging then um you'll find all sorts of information about that okay if you haven't already be sure to take the avon U online business course because that will show you all sorts of tips and tricks for your online business um, and here's the best thing about the online store, uh, telling your customers about your online store and what the benefits are. I mean, obviously the benefits are, first of all, they are, uh, going to receive the products directly from Avon and they come nicely, uh, typically with, with, um, bubble wrap on the top and tissue around them. They can put in a free brochure uh, just by clicking it and um, it'll be added to their to their order. Um, like I said, they can get the free shipping. They don't have to play uh, phone tag with you trying to coordinate deliveries. They um, what was the other one about that? You don't have to worry about uh, bagging up the orders, driving over to their house, that kind of thing. And um, there's another one. Um, oh, and they'll they'll get the product sooner than they would if you just order, you know, wait to order it on your order and then you deliver. I remember having this conversation last week and I was going to call my customer and recommend that she orders through the online. And a couple, you know, first of all, we had a very good conversation. She said that she used to sell Avon in the past, but that was way back in the day when she was working. She's now retired. She was saying that she sold, um, you have a Google business account. Okay. Um, she was saying that she sold, she worked in an office. And so she would pass out books there in the office. And then she would also have books in the, um, uh, in the restrooms there in the building that she worked in. So it must have been quite a large building that she was able to do that. But she actually made President's Club back in the day. She still has the Mrs. Albee uh, stat statuettes or however you want to call them, the figurines that we have. Um, but she said that she can't really figure out the online store and how to order with that. So I offered to help do it over the phone for her. Um, I don't believe that I offered to actually do it for her. I tried to get her to do it. Uh, but anyway, she said, you know what, I just want you to come over. So we are going to run into that from time to time because some of these customers just want to have that face-to-face -face interaction with us. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's not going away whatsoever. Um, it's just that, you know, we're trying to steer people into the 21st century here. But, you know, we can only do as much as we can. But back to what makes the, um, the online store ordering so awesome for us as reps other than the fact that we don't have to do the phone tagging and we don't have to do the bagging and we don't have to, um, oh, how do I say it? We don't have to place the orders, that type of thing. But rapid pay is here. So if anybody orders from your online store today, Wednesday, you will get paid easily by Monday, if not before then. How awesome is that? Hi, Martha. How are you? So imagine this. Imagine if you have just tons of online ordering going. You'll get paid every single day. You could technically get paid every single day. Now, if you haven't already done this, make sure that you sign yourself up for direct deposit. 
so that Avon can deposit those earnings directly into your checking or savings account. If you currently have the credit card where any of your earnings go on to there, that won't count for the rapid pay. So if you want to get paid very often with your Avon earnings, then make sure that you uh, sign up for the direct deposit. Okay. Um, and don't forget to tell people that online fundraisers are available. You know, the, Facebook has these things where on your birthday you can set up different um, um, charities. Well, imagine if we put that on there and we said, are you having a birthday soon? Do a, an online fundraiser for your cause through the Avon fundraisers. So people are, they're buying your products, which will, um, you know, the, the profit from to that fundraiser. Um, so they're not only just contributing money, but now they're actually getting a product plus contributing money with the same amount of dollars that they would have before. You're getting the earnings, you're getting the online store credit. Um, it's just, you know, Online fundraisers, definitely talk to your customers, post that on social media, post that in a blog that they're available, and uh, let us know what what transpires with that. I know Sandy Haremza called me, oh gosh, I think it was last week, all very excited because she has, I think, multiple fundraisers going on. So how cool is that? Because I know some of them are going to be online. Um, so the way that Emily ended up the webinar was with a slide that said the three simple rules of great leadership. Well, even if you don't have a team yet, you're still a leader in terms of your customers are looking up to you to be the authority with your Avon business. They are trusting you with your opinions with your customer service, with your dependability, all of those types of things. So when she says the three simple rules of great leadership, I'm pretty much just gonna say it's the three simple rules of just being a great person. And that is know thyself. So make sure that you are true to yourself and where you wanna go, where your goals are, everything like that. Be authentic, be real. Don't try to be fake because people will see through. I mean, how many people have you seen over the years that are just like, because they're so fake? Don't be fake. What you see here, this is me. If I was trying to be fake, you would not see that mess stuff. Right. This is me. This is me. Um, and finally, what I just alluded to, build trust. When you build that trust with your customers, when you build that trust with your team, that will get paid back to you multiple fold because that person, that customer, excuse me, oh, I get hardly any sleep these days. Um, that customer or and or that team member will pass on the information, will pass on your your name will pass on, oh, I have this great Avon leader, or I have this great Avon representative, and they'll be proud to do that. So, hi, Sandy, I was just talking about you and your fundraisers. Um, anyway, when you build that trust, it will be returned to you in spades. So just continue to work on that. Um, it is six o'clock. I have actually an Avon dinner tonight with some representatives to go to. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. You can comment them here. You know you can always call, text, email me anytime with any questions whatsoever. If you have any good news stories like Sandy did when she called me to let me know that she has these fundraisers set up, let me know that as well. I would love to pass that on to the group. Um, you know, let, let's post our successes. Let's talk about them because when we talk about them with each other, then we get tips and, and new ideas and things like that. And that's how we're all going to grow. 
I would love to see 2019 beat out all of the expectations and the goals and the and the successes that we had for 2018. Let's do that. And um, we will just move forward and keep keep going. So I will say goodbye at this point. Like I said, if you have anything for me, let me know. I'll see you later. I will see you next week. Uh, next week is January 30th. Yes, I will be here and I have that new meeting in a box spring collection of items to go over. So meet me back here next week. Bye-bye.